just arrived in Strasbourg. Um, fucking long day, wouldn't it? Fucking horrible, it, man. Fuck that. There, there's no like commercial airport in Strasbourg, and so you have to get the train to, from Paris to uh, to here, which yeah. I, I had to wait 75 fucking minutes for the train to leave the station. I'm not <laughs> even fucking shitting you. How, did, right. you. how did you leave like an hour after me but you arrived Mate, before me? Because the trains here are actually worse than in England. I'm not kidding. It's a, it's a fucking miracle. I'm, I was like, I gotta see, I'd see because I was stuck in the train for fucking ages. I literally got off the plane. I had, yeah. time for, I took, I had one cigarette just on the train platform. It said no smoking and yeah. I, I don't care. Lo- I get yelled at, I get yelled at in the fucking train station for smoking, then in the wee, see the wee connecting bits in the carriages, I just smoked in there on the train, and people yelling at me in French, and I was, I don't understand it, it doesn't count. Look, if if it was important, they'd say it in English, okay? That's how I look at the world. Anything that matters is said in English. Seriously, but the thing is, there were like there were loads of people smoking on the train station just open. It's so weird. Yeah. It was like, okay. I got yelled at. Yeah, um, yeah, of course, yeah. Fucking guy just came up like a one-horn baguette. I was like, hey, I'm just off a fucking tour, you, three, man. You're gonna have to try harder than that, buddy. <laughs> you're really gonna have to work harder. Sorry, I don't speak surrender. <laughs> so much. I forgot my Arabic dictionary. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're, we're tired from travelling yeah. we're going to go get a McDonald's because we want to enjoy some local French cuisine. See you all later. <laughs> France is shite, man. I managed to get on the train to get to here and the entire time I was next to a fucking screaming child. The Wi-Fi in my hotel doesn't fucking work. So the only source of entertainment I have is the videos that are already downloaded on my laptop, of which there are very few. So last night when I wanted to have a wank, I was forced to wank to the sex scenes in Altered Carbon. I go to bed late and sleep late, which is one of the perks of being self-employed. And then Sargon got me up at 10 o'clock this morning to go fucking rock climbing. Who the fuck? <laughs> yeah. How are you going to fucking do that? No. No. <laughs> Snake, do you read me? Yeah, <laughs> you're a fucking boomer snake. Like, yeah, it was fun, I enjoyed myself, but like, not at 10 o'clock in the morning. It is extremely fucking hot here. It is, it is so hot. They're, they don't even have clouds in the sky here. Like, I've, I've already been here for like two days and I haven't seen a single fucking cloud. Everyone keeps assuming that I'm French. And that's, that's actually really starting to piss me off. I can't smoke in the hotel room. So I was just going to do the condom trick where you take a condom and wrap it around the smoke alarm so it doesn't detect when you're smoking in the room. But I can't find anywhere that sells condoms. No wonder the French are fucking riddled. Also today, I gave a speech at the EU Parliament building talking about Article 13 and talking about the risk to freedom of speech and freedom of expression in the European Union. I gave a speech today at the European Parliament. I just wanted to upload a funny video of me pissing off my girlfriend and teaching my dog a Nazi salute for a fucking joke. That, that is all I wanted to do and that is all that I should have fucking been. Why am I here? Why am I sitting here in a hotel room in fucking Strasbourg in fucking France <laughs> giving speeches at the European Parliament just because I got fucking arrested wrongfully over a fucking shit post? Like, yeah, yeah, I've had a few beers, right? But... <laughs> But why the fuck am I here? It's warm. I haven't seen a single dog since I fucking arrived here. Everyone's fucking rude. And I'm sitting there giving speeches about stuff that I shouldn't need to be giving fucking speeches about, man. Like, freedom of, freedom of speech is a fucking right. Why is this up for debate? Why am I a fucking shit poster for fucking Scotland having to fucking drag my arse out here to fucking debate something that shouldn't even be up for fucking debate? It should be a right that's just fucking given to everyone. Why Why is this up for discussion and why is one of the people that has been chosen for this discussion is some fucking dickhead named Count Dankula who thinks it's funny to send pictures of his balls to people? Like, I should have just been a fucking shit poster and that is all I fucking should have been. Why the fuck am I here? I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, we we here, boys. Uh, <laughs> why the fuck are we here? <laughs> just decided to sit in front of the the shrine of globalism. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
We brought, we brought our own lamb for the sacrifice yeah. in the name of his holy father, George Soros. We basically got to actually see the voting process today, and that was interesting. It's a Pointless. fucking mess. Yeah. It's a fucking mess. There was people voting, and you could tell they, were, they didn't even know what they were voting for. No. There's no debate, there's no discussion. It's yeah. just like hand up, hand down, hand up, hand down. Basically, I think each person just gets their advisors talking to them, going, yeah. this, is a good, this is a good idea or this is a bad idea. There's yeah. no debate, no discussion, and they just go with what their advisors tell yeah. them. The adv <laughs> advisors and personal assistants are who truly run the EU. Yeah. And <laughs> the, the, that's because they're the only ones who actually read the material. It's, yeah. it's, it's like, it's a, it's a big stack of shit and no one reads it. Yeah. Oh, what was it? What was it that got voted in? It was one of the amendments where we were going to adopt a special police force to oh, yeah, protect the, the forest. Yeah, International Forestry Commission of some sort. That actually had a law enforcement area yeah. of it as well. So yeah, we yeah. get tree police. Yeah. That get that get carried. Tree police. <laughs> this, this, this is where your money goes. We just came here to talk about Article 13. The vote for it is tomorrow. We still haven't been to that Magic the Gathering shop to get cards. No, but we will tonight. We will tonight. After dinner. I've only eaten baguettes for dinner. Like, uh, <laughs> all I've eaten is baguettes because it's the only thing I know how to order. Fr France is exactly as stereotypical as you imagine it yeah. to be. We, we, we walked past the guy with an accordion the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Who was foreign? <laughs> Tomorrow was the actual big vote, which is... Uh, uh, I'm nervous about it, man. I'm fucking nervous. They, fuck they probably will fuck us. Awesome. So you know that I've seen. I thought maybe we're in with a chance, but see, as soon as I've seen how the voting process goes and who people actually take advice from, and they don't get challenged on it at all, that kind of made that's kind of made me feel we're fucked. Yeah. One thing I couldn't notice as well, by the way, no Scottish flag. That's, that's fucking racist. Um, yep, yeah, yes, yes, I have been drinking. Uh, I finally managed to find a shop that sells things for your hotel room. Uh, I managed to buy myself coffee. It turns out that French shops just just don't sell milk and sugar. Um, I got as much Coke Zero as your heart desires, and uh, I wouldn't be a I wouldn't be a true gammon if I didn't get myself a pot noodle. I went to make my pot noodle, right? I'm having to fucking boil water in a pot like a fucking chemist, like a savage. Because of this, right? Here's the kettle I get given in my fucking room. What is that? The fuck is that? Shit! What the fuck is this in my fucking kettle? Fuck France! So Article 13 got fucking passed. And pretty much every single amendment that we put forward got fucking rejected. And basically what I've seen was a room full of fucking boomers <laughs> trying to regulate something that they do not understand or comprehend. Like, their, their generation doesn't even own the fucking internet, their generation has done nothing for the internet, their generation fucking barely even uses the fucking internet, but they're sitting there passing laws and demanding more and more regulation on the entire fucking thing. And it's just, all it is is just basically to control the narrative of the EU and fucking globalists. I'm walking, I'm sitting not too far from a fucking sphere that sits right in the middle of this fucking building called United Earth, just in case you didn't get the message that these guys are fucking filthy globalist fucks. All they're trying to do is control the internet so that they can ultimately control criticism against them. Right now this is starting with fucking copyright and I guarantee you in the next few years it's going to be used for speech. Right, basically fair use in Europe because of this now does not exist. Europe now does not have fair use laws. We even tried to get an amendment in where the nation state's own laws would take precedent over Article 13, which would include fair use, and that get fucking yeeted. So, so basically, uh, no more fair use, no more parody, no more caricatures, no more creative commentary, nothing like that. Europe simply doesn't have it. <sighs> why, why is shit like this up for debate, man? Why is shit like this up for debate, man? I'm literally sitting here in the fucking, the globalist lion's den, rubbing shoulders with people, and see the more and more I walk around this building and the more and more I talk to these people, I just kind of realise that nobody has any fucking idea what they're doing. None of them have a fucking clue. <laughs> at, least, at least we get one good thing out of this. <laughs> We've got a fucking excellent argument for Brexit now, so all of you, uh, 
Remainers and you know those you know, those lovely freedom fighters fighting for a united and peaceful fucking planet. Well, the same people that you're supporting have just fucked over freedom of speech, which basically counts as your freedom of speech too. You know, what if what if one of you wanted to make a a Trump meme or a meme about a right wing party, you know, somewhere in Europe, and basically they get to sue you for copyright if you use their likeness, right? So that's <laughs> fucking man, fuck boomers, fucking fuck boomers. This place simply doesn't fucking work. And all the time I've been here and in everyone that I've spoken to, I've kind of realised that no one in this building has any idea what the fuck they're doing. They actually create fake work for the MEPs to do, just so that they look busy. They vote on things that turn out have absolutely no legislative power at all, just so that it, just so it looks like they're actually doing something. And most of the things that they're voting on, they haven't even read it themselves. They've just been informed by their assistants on like, you know, give me the gist, give me the rundown, and then they vote on it. And well, all I've really seen today while I was in this building was a room full of fucking boomers who do not understand the internet, do not take part in the culture, and don't even contribute at all to the internet, trying their hardest to regulate what people can and can't do on a world that they're not even fucking part of or even care to be fucking part of. This is why I've assumed direct control of the EU Parliament. Execute Order 1776. Gas the boomers. <laughs> it was a joke. Does it count if I do it in France? <laughs> Joke, I was joking, it was a joke. It's Count Dankula on YouTube, everybody should subscribe.